A reverse lay is done when the engine supplying the apparatus at scene gets to them prior to finding a hydrant. In this case, the hydrant they will use is located beyond the apparatus at scene. So when the air brake sets, both firefighters perform exit procedures and exit the apparatus. Number four firefighter will secure his SCBA from the irons and put them both underneath the other rig's tailboard. While this is happening, number three will exit the apparatus and secure the four inch double male and their SCBA. After number four is done placing the equipment under the other rig, they'll climb on their own tailboard and pull out four inch hose. They'll need enough four inch to reach the other rig's four inch rear intake. Number four will create three folds approximately three feet long and then break off the four inch increaser. At this point, number three can take over the four inch line and advise number four to return to the rig. Number four returns the increaser back to the engineer's compartment on their apparatus prior to getting back in. Number three checks for a gasket on the four inch female coupling and then connects the four inch double male. They then kneel on the folded hose lift the coupling up and advise their engineer to take it away. Number three will get off the hose when they hear the air brake set, when the first coupling drops out of the hose bed or there's a catastrophic failure. From here, they'll bring the hose line with the four inch double male attached and make their connection to the other apparatus's rear four inch intake. They will check for a gasket prior to making the connection and then use some slack in the line to push into the connection with their shoulder to tighten the connection down even further. Remember, there are two female couplings here to tighten down. Finally, they flake out the hose and give a turnover to the engineer.